to install Incremento Everything, open the Remnote Plugin Store in your Settings, Plugins. You can type Incremental Everything and install it. Incremental Everything will allow you to have incremental RAMs that will appear in your queue interlinked with your flashcards. To create an incremental RAM, all you have to do is to tag it incremental using the command incremental everything. You can also use a shortcut option X to do the job. Or if you want to set the priority altogether, Alt Shift X and you can already put the priority you want. The procedure is the same for a YouTube video. Just use Alt X and for PDFs. For PDFs, you need to have a single PDF source. You make this PDF incremental the same way. In order to disable incremental RAM, all you have to do is remove the tag. You can see that's no longer an incremental RAM. Incremental RAM has this blue border on the left to make it easy for you to identify them. When you are in the queue reviewing your flashcards, you will see intermingled with them your incremental RAM according to your sorting criteria. Let's say that you have a flashcard ratio of six cards for incremental RAM. This is the ratio that you will be followed in the queue. You will rate your flashcards normally, and from time to time, you will see an incremental RAM. Here, you have this video that you can watch. Uh, we have a... In some sense, learn the language. When you are okay with it, you can press next. You have again a flashcard. Until you see another incremental RAM. Here you have a PDF incremental RAM. When you first encounter a long PDF like this book, Essentials of Meteorology, a book with more than 500 pages, it's time for you to set your strategy to approach this material. You can lose, for example, an auxiliary window. You can use Open Editor in New Tab that will Open the browser with the same incremental RAM, given these written right here. Or you can press P to use the previewer and make notes from here. You use the first approach. You have a large PDF book. You should, for example, See the contents, copy it, paste it within the incremental RAM. Now you can organize it. Now we have here the structure of the book. Well, we know in incremental reading that sometimes the worst approach to reading a book is to read it sequentially. But this book has more than 500 pages. It will take a lot of time to read through all these contents. Sometimes the most value are not in the beginning, 
most of the times this is the case. So you should, in this first contact with this large PDF, to make a fast assessment of what is important, what is of interest for you. In the case of these books, I came to the conclusion that there are two interesting chapters for us. Chapter 7, Atmospheric Circulations, and Chapter 8, Air Masses, Fronts, and Middle Latitude Cycles. The other chapters, though interesting, are not the things that are, I am more interested in. So I'll make these two run here incremental. The same way I'll put Alt Shift X. I want a priority of, let's say, 20 for this chapter. And 50, 15 to chapter 8. Remember that the priorities, the lower the number, the higher the priority. It's like ordinals. The lower, the more prioritary it is for you. Now we have these two runs made incremental. The recommended flow here is to put the PDF, the same PDF, as a source of these new, these two new incremental run. And go to source. Link source, you put the same name here, and the same for chapter 8. Okay, now these two run, these two incremental run have the same PDF source. Now we go back to our main window, and you can we can use the PDF control panel. You can use it in the omnibar, or if you are already in the queue, seeing the PDF you want, you can click over the range button. Here you can see a control panel of your PDF. It will track all runs that have the same PDF source. You can see here that this current run that we are seeing, it's the entire book here. And we have two, two run of them, chapter 7 and chapter 8, that have the same PDF source. The idea is to read, to control the reading of this entire PDF in a more organized way. Now we can set the page ranges from for each incremental run. Chapter seven I have verified in the in the PDF, and I say that it goes and I know that it goes from the page one nine six to two three one of the PDF. I'll save the range. And I'll do the same for chapter eight. Chapter eight goes from the page 232 to the page 265. I save the range. That's it. I can now say that I have done the first assessment of this PDF. I'll indicate here into onto what page I want. I can see that it's page 8. It's not automatic. You have to put it here. And I can do two things. As I already have two incremental rings of the most important chapters that I want to see, I can press DOM and untag it, and so this whole book will not be an incremental run anymore. Or I can use reschedule. Let's say that I have the feeling that in 150 days, I'll be able to decide if I want to do something else in this book or no. Well, the next day, in my, in, in my queue, I encounter the same PDF again. But now I can see that I am in chapter 8. This is the incremental run. And I can see here the range being indicated. 
This incremental rem is interest in pages 232 to 265. So I'll have to manually go here and put the page that I am in. 232. Good. Now I can start chapter 8. Let's say that in this first encounter, I will just read this first page. Maybe there's nothing in here that's so interesting. Maybe I find an interesting paragraph here. Look, this information, it's interesting. I'll highlight it. It says that an air mass is an extremely large body of air whose properties of temperature and humidity are fairly similar in any horizontal direction at any given altitude. Good. A single air mass may cover more than a million square kilometers. That's very interesting. I'll highlight it. And now, to make a PDF highlight, an incremental ramp, all I have to do is to click it again, now that it's already highlighted, and press this button with the shape of a puzzle. It will be the incremental. I'll set the priority. Let's say the priority is 30. And I can see that the color is changed according to my settings. Now, this highlight here is going to be another independent incremental ramp and will appear to me in the future. I think that for today, it's enough of this PDF. I'll so indicate the page the PDF page, not the page of the book, the page of the PDF in which I stopped to 233. You can use this arrow or type. Now I'll press next. That's it. This way, your PDFs are going to be treated incrementally. Well, let's say that the next day you face this PDF again, but now you see it's chapter seven. Well, the range starting page 196 so you have you come here you change it here 196 okay you start reading you can see that if you press over the range here you see the pdf control panel and you see you can see the the history of reviews you can see that chapter 8 has already been reviewed in November 21 at 412 4.12 p.m. You can see all the history here. The same you can see that page seven, chapter seven will show its history here as soon as we change the page. So the PDF control panel is place where you can see where you are in each chapter. In chapter 8, I am at page 233. In chapter 7, as soon as I change the page where I am in and advance here, I can see the same information of where I am in this specific chapter. This way, you can control your PDFs until you see that you finish one PDF, and all you have to do is to tackle the highlights. Now, on a given day, you'll see this PDF again. Now you can see an uh, emphasize button here saying scroll to highlight. This means that you are not in chapter 7 nor in chapter 8. You can see here the name of the RAM. It's not chapter 7 or chapter 8, because what you're supposed to review is just this highlight here. You can even scroll to see where you are in the column in the larger picture, and then press scroll to highlight, and you see this highlight. And you have a couple of ways of dealing with this highlight. I'll teach you one right now. You can use this button that will first register your review and then open the editor you press it here you open the pdf in the editor you can now open the notes 
you know that you are in chapter eight. So you can copy it and paste it to chapter eight. You can press three for text with pin. Now you have more freedom to do whatever you want to do to create a flashcard. You can easily see that there are two pieces of information that you can dismember in two. And you can make each one of these separate incremental RAM, always considering their priority, the definition of air mass, and the, the cover area of it. You can make each one of them incremental RAM separately. Let's say 10 for this and 34 for this. Now, if you have already this information here, you can untag it here in the PDF. That's one way of dealing with it. It will appear to you again, but now in the editor with these things here that you can work on. Or if you prefer, if you have time for this, you can already make out some flashcards. That's an example of a flow with a PDF in incremental everything. Now, one or two days later, you may face one of those extracts. It's about an air mass. I advise you not to try to use the editor here because it will frequently have conflicts with the Q, Q shortcuts and so on. That's why we have this false button here that is just some information that you can press P to edit these in the reviewer. It's a much safer place to do with this. Well, you want to make things incrementally. If you don't want to create a lot of flashcards at once because it will probably result in overload and you will not be able to tackle it. Also, you want some time to evaluate the importance of each thing. If you can postpone the decision of creating a flashcard, you'll probably make better decisions later on. Well, now you will we'll make already a flashcard, but you follow the one memory, one, one action principle, and we will create only one flashcard. We have here an air mass. We can see that's the definition. Let's use RenNote concept descriptor framework, but let us refrain of creating ourselves from creating two flashcards. Let us create this. Key. Let us recall just the air mass. We, we want this name to be recalled. Maybe in the future, when these incremental RAM appear to you again in the future, you desire to close something else, let's say, and at any given altitude, let's say, let's say in horizontal direction, you may make other closes or cards here, but not now. You have already done one, it's sufficient for now. You have taken some action, you can press next and go to the next. In this case, what you have here is the other, the other extract. We maybe want to have a notion of the how many kilometers it it covers order at magnitude so you can close just one information i can see right here that there is nothing else for me to learn from this i can press dawn and it's no longer an incremental ring now i can see one of my flashcards and so on that's the flow of incremental reading